What's up guys, Justin here, and today I've got the full speed test and benchmark test of the Samsung Galaxy S4. The version I've got here is the international version with the Exynos 5 Octa processor clocked in at 1.6GHz, while the North American version has the Snapdragon 600 processor that is quad core and clocked in at 1.9GHz. When it comes down to benchmark tests, there shouldn't really be a big difference. So in this video, I'll be running pretty much every major benchmark, whether it tests out the CPU, the GPU, the storage speeds, or just the overall system. So this video is good for people who may just want to see how fast the Samsung Galaxy S4 is, or possibly compare it with the existing phone you may own. So the first test we're going to run is Geekbench 2. The model of Samsung Galaxy S4 I have is a GT i9500, and of course it runs Android 4.2.2. It also has that ARM Universal 5410 processor, which is pretty much a codename for the Exynos 5 Octa 5410 processor that is clocked in at 1.6 GHz like I mentioned, and it also has 1.82 GB of RAM. So let's run the test itself, and the Samsung Galaxy S4 came out with a really impressive score of 3,414. It is probably the highest among all these smartphones out in the market right now, including the HEC One, and it is actually even higher than some of the laptops I've owned in the past. So the Samsung Galaxy S4 and all its power and processing power built into this machine is definitely a powerhouse. So now let's go ahead and run the full benchmark of Quadrant Standard. This benchmark not only tests out the CPU, but also the GPU as well by running a full sequence. So now running the benchmark, you can see that it pretty much runs a full sequence of animations and see how the phone can handle the graphics power. This Samsung Galaxy S4 maintained a really good score of about 60 frames per second throughout this test, and it came out with a score of about 12,447, which is definitely very impressive. Next up, we're going to check out the Antutu benchmark, which is a benchmark that many people may know as well. This also tests out the CPU, the memory, and the GPU performance of this phone, so let's go ahead and skip to the score. So from the test itself, after it tests out the CPU and memory performance itself, it also runs another full sequence just like Quadrant Standard did, and it may be entertaining for some, so I'm just going to skip ahead just to not waste you guys time. So you can see that the CPU performance came out at a score of 10,019, while the GPU also matched around that of 10,243, and the overall score gets a 5 star anti 2 rating of 26,668, so once again you can see just how powerful the Samsung Galaxy S4 is. Moving on, the next test we're going to check out is 3D Mark. The past few tests we ran in this video did also test out the benchmark scores of the GPU as well, but this is a dedicated 3D Mark test, and it runs a whole animation. Some people may find it interesting, but I'm just going to skip to the end of this. So the Samsung Galaxy S4 finished the test at an impressive score of 9,933. The last test we're going to run is AndroBench. A lot of people may not know about this benchmark, however what it does is it tests out the flash storage built into your device, whether it's a sequential read, the write speeds of the flash storage on your smartphone. So the Samsung Galaxy S4 also came up with a really impressive score in this test of 119.74 megabits per second of the sequential read speed and a 20.9 sequential write. You can also take a look at the random read and the random write and compare it with the own device you may own. So this pretty much wraps it up for the Samsung Galaxy S4 full speed and benchmark test. Please feel free to let me know what your device may have scored in some of these tests down in the comments section below. And be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video as it helps me out a bunch. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all in my next video.